Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great Sunday. We are done with preseason, and last week, people were trashing Mozzie Smith. He's a bust already. Dudes, be cool. You do realize that for training camp in the beginning, before the beginning of the season, teams only have 14 padded practices. 14. When you are a college player, you end up playing your bowl games and everything else. You're doing everything to trade, train for the combine, doing pro days and everything else. Then you got the draft. And now all of a sudden, you are thrusted into the NFL. It takes a little time to get used to playing in the NFL. You're playing a different system and this, that, and the other. And the thing is, you could go through with Reggie White, and you could find some plays where he got beat and knocked down. When you play in the inside lines, in the trenches, it's ugly. And people don't seem to understand exactly why Mozzie Smith is here. He's here to be a run stopper, okay? It's dirty work. It is down and dirty. The statistics don't show up for an interior defensive lineman. You are there to hold the line. So I want to actually look at a couple of plays. I want to do some things in the going forward here that are going to make it more advantageous for me to do film breakdowns and things. Because, see, Mozzie Smith, I play nose guard, which is now called nose tackle, which is the guy over top of the center. It is hard it is painful. You get hit in so many different directions, and you get snow glory. You're the closest guy to the football every play, and you get snow glory. But let's take a look at a few plays here, and um, I'm actually excited about what I'm seeing. So this first play, this is actually the very first play of the game. And what we actually have is we have Mozzie Smith in the middle of the field. Now, get it? You know, this is Mozzie going against guys that are going to be probably cut. So, you know, be that as it may. You want to look at technique. You want to see what the guys are doing. You want to make sure that they're in the right position and they're doing their job. Will it be harder, of course, when you're going against, you know, great players? Of course it will. But this is getting your feet wet and understanding the job and getting better each week. So what we have is we have Mozzie Smith is right up over the center, right up over the center. His job, of course, is that line of scrimmage. Now, it's easy on this play because the line of scrimmage is the 25-yard line. What you have to do is you have to read and react. And we're in a 3-4 defense, which I love because 3-4 defenses are made to stop the running. Okay, you've got a guy head up over the center and usually guys up on the tackles. Okay. So then there's a gap between you and the guard. What the guards will do on running plays is they're trying to get to the second level to get to the linebackers, okay? If the guard can go off, take the linebacker out, and the center can man the, the t nose tackle, then you've got a lane to go ahead and bust a big play. If your nose tackle is a guy who you can't move with one guy, then you've got a double team, which means then they're not getting to the linebackers because ultimately the way the defense works is it's not about the nose tackle getting the tackles. It's about the linebackers getting the tackles, which is why you normally see linebackers over 100 tackles, and you'll see interior defensive linemen you know, with 20, 30 tackles, maybe 40 for a great one. So understand how a defense works and what it calls for. Now, your first step is get into the center, and you're trying to read and see where he's going. Where does he want to take you? And you fight the pressure. Because if he's trying to hook you, then that means, unless it's a wing T defense, offense, which is a bastard one because it's misdirection. But if he's trying to wheel his hips around to block you this way, that means the ball's going that way. You've got to fight the pressure. It means you've got to get a stiff arm in there. You've got to try and hold him up, and it's going to lead you to the ball. This is play number one. I don't hear anybody out there talking about how bad Mozzie Smith is and he's a bust because typically what would happen to our interior defensive linemen is they get blown back there with the safeties. Now watch this play. Mozzie Smith is going to get hit by the center and passed off by the guard, and he's going to basically get into the center's hip pocket, and it's going to lead him to the ball carrier. Now watch. He's going to go lined up, boom. 
makes contact with the center and ends up having the guard there and he goes down the line. Did you see how he went down the line? Let's watch again. See, that's perfect. Controlling the line of scrimmage. He hits the center. The center's trying to pull. The guard comes through. He gets the arm out on the guard and doesn't allow him to hook him. And he rides him down the line. Rides down the line and he's right there. Boom. That's not his gap. You see how far on the other side of the field that was? And he's in on the play. Because he re read it perfectly. Made contact, got in the hip pocket of the guard, oh, excuse me, of the center, rode down the line, found the ball carrier. Let's watch it again. Whoops. Sorry. Messed that up. Let's. We're low techie here. But you see, that is exactly what you want to have. Let's back it up one more time. Let's try it again. Boom. You see, you see that extension? Okay, if you look at it, the center is trying to pull and be the lead blocker. They've got the fullback coming up through there. Mozzie Smith has got his arm fully extended, pushing that guy, not allowing him to get past there. He reads the play. He reads the play, and he goes down the line of scrimmage. That's textbook. You get that all day, they ain't running shit on you. They're not. He's not getting blown off the ball. He's occupying space. He's keeping his shoulders square to the line. And he's riding down the line. Dudes. Dudes. I don't know how, you know, you, you look at that and say, he's a bust. And again, I get it. This is against third stringers. He's a grown-ass man going against guys that may be unemployed. But that technique will follow through anywhere you go. He's got the strength. He's got the quickness. He's got the attitude to do those things. I love it. Love every bit of it. Watch watch the rest of the play. Look. Keeps his shoulder square, and he moves his big ass down the line where he's still got his shoulder square where he can move. The guy tries to cut back. I can make that move back. One more time. Let's watch it again. Engages. Ball snap, boom, right in there, engaging, working his way down the line. It's funny how I don't see anybody breaking this play down. First play of the game. First play of the game. It's not glamorous. It's not a big sack, but it holds him to two yards. Two yards. He's in on the tackle. If you're going to kill him for one play, then you got to at least put the whole picture out there. I love it. I, I, I absolutely love it. So that's play number one. Okay, second play of the game. Again, this will be a play that the average fan has no idea what he's doing. They're going to say, well, he didn't make a play. He didn't make a play. He's a bust. Because you are trying to equate a nose tackle with DN stats. So you have to understand a defensive end's job is get upfield and get to the quarterback and have outside contain. Nothing gets past you on the outside and you are attacking the quarterback. Okay? You're going to get the sacks. You're going to get the numbers. The interior defensive lineman, make sure that you can you collapse the pocket so the defensive ends can get the tackles. All right, so play number two of the game. I love this. Okay? Let's watch. It's going to end up being a pass play. Now, sometimes you do your job and you don't get recognized. Now, this is going to be, you got the quarterback under center, okay? we got wide outs, two wide outs to the left, and we're in 12 personnel, okay? 12 personnel, two tight ends, all right? Mozzie Smith is shaded to the right, and he's going to end up rushing the passer because it's going to end up being a pass play, okay? Now, look, he's getting hit right now. By the guard, okay? I'm sorry, by the tackle, right? Now the guard passes him off. So take a look at this. The line of scrimmage is two yards behind him. He is pushing the pocket towards the quarterback. The quarterback can't step up. Now the problem on this play is Sam Williams screwed the pooch. 
This should have been a sack by Sam Williams. He should have been attacking outside. Now, if you have uh, Jalen Hurts, for example, right now, what he's going to do is he's going to be going off of the tackle's butt and running the football, and he's going to make a big play. Because this is a case where Sam Williams should have been outside rushing and collapsing the pocket. Your other edge rusher, he is squeezing on the outside doing his job. Mozzie Smith is pushing and occupying two blockers and still getting them upfield. Let's continue watching on this. Look at that. He pushes. Now, if your defensive end had made, made a move and had that outside, it's a sack. You can't ask for your nose tackle to do any more than that. If you get that, where he is occupying two guys, pushing the pocket so the quarterback can't step up, oh, my God. Micah Parsons will feast. Micah Parsons could have the Dallas Cowboys sack record if you get that on a pass rush every day. Every day. This is, again, casual fan. Well, Mozzie Smith didn't do nothing. He, man, that guy, he's a bum, man. You know, he didn't get a sack. He didn't get a tackle. Guys, that's not what's going to show up with a Mozzie Smith. That's not what's going to show up with a nose tackle. That's just icing on the cake. The first two plays of the game, textbook. Exactly what you want. So you guys out there that are idiots that say he's a bust, he can't do anything. Okay. You don't really understand the position. Learn the position and learn what you're talking about on those situations. Guys, I'm loving that. I absolutely, positively love that. So that's play number two. All right, so here we are after the last play. We have short yardage. It's third down and one, okay? And this is where you've got three interior uh, defensive linemen covering the guard, the center, and the guard. Okay, this is a heavy formation. You have your edge rushers, which are really outside linebackers. The difference being is an outside linebacker will stand up. He's standing up and rushing, but really he's an edge rusher, okay? And you've got the big, as I say, half ton of fun in the middle, and I can't wait to see um, Hankins, Mozzie Smith, and um, Quentin Bohannon. That's a whole lot of beef on short yardage. Now, this again is one of those ones that you're getting your skull cracked when you're in short yardage and goal line as a defensive lineman. You are taught to be low. We used to call it the turtle move, okay? Because, you know, the turtles got the real short arms and they're low to the ground. The low man wins. You have to have leverage. If you are a center and the, 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 the nose tackle is under you, you're not moving him. You're not moving him. And your job is do not give up space. Push the guys back. Push them back. Move the line of scrimmage back so that way the back cannot get ahead of steam. He can't jump over. He's got no place to go. Now, here we go again. Now, this, this, this is like, oh, my God, I'm literally drooling here. Okay, now let's watch. Mozzie Smith is the man in the middle. You see where the first down marker is. It's third down and very, very, very short. And here we go. Boom. You see, now here, before, before the ball carrier gets the ball, Notice where your defensive linemen are. They have pushed back. They have pushed back the line of scrimmage. They are, you see the offensive linemen are standing up here and like trying to hold leverage. They're not drive blocking. This big ass, and I say big ass defensive lineman, this half ton of fun, is controlling the line of scrimmage and pushing them back. The ball carrier is getting the ball and he's going to be like, oh shit. Boom. Devin Harper makes the play. But what I want you to look at, what I want you to pay attention to is C65 and 51 right there. Who are they pushing on? Two yards. Two yards from the line of scrimmage. That's Mozzie Smith. That's called penetration. Okay? Pause. Mozzie Smith has penetrated the offensive line and pushed them back and is occupying two guys. Two guys. He's got two guys in front of him that he has pushed back. He has gotten up off the mat, was the low man, and pushed them back. Push him back. Push him back. Way back. Okay? And, of course, now 
Devin Harper, the linebacker, gets the glory. Now, if Mozzie Smith does not control that spot, if he gets blown off the ball, linebacker ain't making that play. The linebacker is not making that play. Let's watch it through. Now, they've got another angle on this, which is great. Now, so, of course, you see everybody, hey, Devin, great job, man, great job. Listen. Listen. It is a thankless job. Nobody pats you on the helmet about a great job. Now, look at it. Look at the formation here. You've got Mozzie Smith. His head is down low. He's got the turtle move. He's got the turtle move. I love, my God, I love, it's bringing flashbacks to me, okay? And when the ball goes, he ends up, boom. You see how the center got rocked. The center got rocked. It's not the center who knows when the play is going. He knows the snap count. Mozzie Smith hits the center, and the center goes back. That is incredible reaction. And because he does, do you see Do you see the mound of people? Do you see the mound of guys that are going backwards? Look at this. Boom. And look at this. He's got both arms extended. 65 is being bent over backwards. Bent over backwards. You see that, right? That ball carry just got the ball, and he's like, oh, shit, let me pump the brakes and see if I can go someplace else. Because Mozzie Smith did his job. Look at that. Boom. And then, of course, Mozzie. Hey, don't do that, though, bro. He's on the ground. I know. I, I understand. I understand exactly what Mozzie Smith is feeling because it's like, I want a piece of that. Damn it. I just went through two guys. I want to finish him. Finish him. Yeah, I want, but but you gotta be careful because we don't want a, a late hit and give him a first down. If that's any, if I got anything negative to say, bro, be careful. The guy was already tackled. Okay, but but you, you you understand the feeling. But look at this. Look look at that. He pushed dude backwards and boom. I want to finish him. Boom. Guys, we got a straight up stud. Straight up stud. Funny. Funny. I ain't seen nothing on Twitter. Mozzie Smith is ass. Dallas. I ain't heard Philly 500. Ain't heard nobody say nothing bad about Mozzie Smith today. And unfortunately, when you have one bad play, when you're a Dallas Cowboy, they're going to talk shit about you. Sad, sad, but true. I'm Mark Holmes, and as always, I appreciate you guys, and I will see you soon.